One of the uh, non-answered questions in biology is how to quantify biological events. Therefore, what we decided is to develop the tool that allows us to quantify volumes of a given tissue. And this tool is very useful because we can measure how a tissue grows in our specific uh, case, how the neuronal differentiation domain grows during brain uh, embryogenesis. Uh, this tool is interesting because it allows us to combine two very important things. One is uh, quantification of volumes and the second one is time. Uh, this uh, allows us to understand the importance of the birth rate of neurons in the final position and the contribution of these different uh, birth rate neurons to the final uh, brain circuits. In order to understand this concept, we need to take into account multiple aspects uh, of cell population, uh, their growth and how they acquire and when they acquire their function, um, as well as how do they reorganize into the final structure of the brain. Uh, because uh, obviously for the final functional brain to, to be active, we need specific circuit formation. Uh, so what we try to do is take computational approaches to the analysis of cell populations and try to combine several set of factors such as their identity, their lineage and the time of differentiation together in, uh, in order to understand the interplay between all those. We realized uh, analyzing our data that the, the birth date of neuronal population actually uh, foresees their final position into the tissue, uh, effectively allowing us to from a map of the, the brain at a later stage, figure out when those neurons were born. We, we made basically a pipeline of image analysis that allows to roughly make uh, atlases of virtually any organ uh, from any organisms uh, based on microscopic images. So the point of this was to allow people that have uh, access to my, confocal microscopy to create the atlas of the organ they're studying. Uh, so it's why we made those tools uh, open access and, uh, and the point here was to, to create algorithms that allows you to do batch processing, meaning that when you've acquired a huge set of data uh, with various transgenic lines labeling different cell populations, you can compile all that into a single reference to quantification and further analysis. Um, getting ratios of distribution uh, along the different body axis and uh, overall quantities of, uh, of cell populations and how much they impact the formation of that tissue. Another advantage of such a pipeline is that uh, by making it mostly automatic, uh, it's quite user-friendly. So meaning that uh, without particular knowledge of bioinformatic, you can uh, quickly process all your data and, and almost all at once in order to, final, uh, to get your final result and to generate a new atlas out of uh, data you already acquired in the past uh, with little new data to acquire actually.